Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising uh, for the month of November 2018. So let's see what Spirit has for you guys. As you guys can see, we've already pulled out the cards and shuffled them. So let's jump right into your reading. Now one of the things uh, that I do see is most of the four cards in your reading are swords. So, Scorpios, for the month of November, there's going to be a lot of mental uh, processing that's going to be happening with you guys. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be um, trying to decipher or understand where you stand in the present time in your relationship. Uh, for others of you, it could be, you know, trying to find out where you stand at the present time in regards to your business and finances. There's a lot of discerning that's going to be happening for the month of November. Now, you do have here, the first card is the Nine of Swords. And the Nine of Swords has to do with communication. Um, sorry, it has to do with the Earth element, which is half finances, um, prosperity, business-wise, and all of that good stuff. So with the Nine of Swords, I feel that you're hiding away. Uh, there is a feeling of uncertainty. Um, for some of you guys, it could be that you've been trying to elevate yourself or perhaps some of you guys recently got a promotion um there was some type of recognition for you guys and with the nine of swords it's almost a feeling like that moment where you finally have or you finally see things moving forward in a positive way but there's something scary about that and what's scaring you um has to do with again it's kind of like that saying goes um, you know, wanting success and wanting stability. Um, but then again, you know, on the flip of the other coin, we do have the fear of success. So for some of you guys, you may be experiencing um, that you are growing, that you are, you know, manifesting abundance and prosperity. But you could be giving up something or it could be you may be feeling like you're sacrificing something for some of you guys. It could be the feeling of sacrificing your family because you're not really around. And if you are, you're not completely devoted to them at the present. And it could have to do again, like I said, with a lot of stress at work, um, having more things that people are coming to you and pretty much laying on you. Um, with more responsibility, etc. So there's a fe an overwhelming feeling, but this is all to do with mental. Um, so again, try the best you guys can to be grounded. Um, the sun is going to be, uh, or is entering your sun sign. So again, uh, try the best you can to remain grounded. Uh, if you feel overwhelmed, if you feel stressed, if you feel very tired, I highly suggest you guys to go to uh, a place where there's water, where you can recharge your energies. Uh, this could be the ocean. This could be the lake. Um, if you don't have none of that, you can run the water in your bath um, and soak in there, you know, with some sage, with some uh, dragon's blood incense, um, just to recharge your batteries. And now your second card here is the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords, again, like I said, I feel that this is your energy. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with an air sign. And an air sign um, could be a Gemini, Aquarius, or a Libra. Or this could be a person of a higher ranking um, that perhaps you feel in some way that you've, you weren't able to deliver what their expectations were of you. So this could have to do directly connected to your business and finances. Nonetheless, I feel that through this process, it's more to do with mental. It's not even like uh, they're expecting you. An example, if you recently got a promotion, they're not expecting you to get the low down and understand fully, um, you know, what the requirements or what it is that they're expecting for you to do. They don't expect you to get that like in two days or something like that as an example. So try to be easy on yourself, Scorpio. Don't overwhelm yourself. Um, don't, you know, take in as much as you can possibly take in and be patient with yourself. Uh, I feel that this is more, more to do with you and judging yourself. So don't be too hard on yourself. Okay. Now you do have the seven of pentacles here and the seven of pentacles does represent, um, you know, looking towards the past, 
Um, for some of you guys, it could be, you know, we're getting closer to the holidays and a lot of people do experience reminiscing or looking back towards, you know, past relationships um, or even getting to a point of looking back towards difficulties that you've overcome. Um, and, you know, though you are grateful and blessed to have moved on from that, uh, there's still a little bit of sadness that's lingering. And again, it's just having to do with, again, like I said, the holidays usually triggers this in people. Um, and at the same time, for those of you guys that are not or don't have family or your parents near and they're in a different country, um, for some of you guys, you may not be able to go see them around these holidays. And there is, again, this sadness of wanting to be around them or wanting to spend. It's almost the feeling like going back home and being grounded. I feel that, that for some of you guys, this is what you're experiencing. Nonetheless, understand with the Seven of Pentacles, you will be able to have the opportunity to go back. You will be able to uh, reconnect with your family members, your loved ones, for those of you guys that live at a distance. Um, this is the time, you know, Scorpio is the, it does represent death, transformation, transmutation. So I feel that with all these swords, uh, we're kind of shedding, you know, letting go of past traumas, past behaviors, things that have kept us, you know, boggled down, things that have kept us, you know, keeping us from progression. And I feel that finally you guys are or may be experiencing, you know, in the now all the way till the end of September sorry, in the end of uh, November, you're going to be experiencing a lot of releasing, a lot of, you know, progress and being able to see that at moments in your life where you felt like you were tied down or you were stuck and you couldn't move forward, you're coming to the understanding that it has a lot to do with mental. Um, men mentally, you felt stuck and you felt that you weren't able to move on. Nonetheless, again, um, you're acknowledging now that you do have the power within yourself and that you are progressing. So I feel that there is a lot of transmutation energy that's happening for you Scorpios out there. And again, for some of you guys, uh, you know, with the nine of swords, there is an anxiety, there is stress and worry. Uh, for some of you guys, if you were, uh, in a previous relationship with an air sign, which would be an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, um, I feel that it's, it's almost an energy of they come and they go, it, they're not fully committed or they're not fully giving themselves to you 100%. And you keep looking towards the past, towards, you know, better times, better moments. Will I ever get to that point? And you're quickly getting to the point of understanding that if it's been over a year, this person is still not committing to you then obviously you both are not on the same page and there is a need for you to cut the cords of past behaviors from past relationships, from past traumas and release yourself. You're not releasing them, you're releasing yourself because it's a pattern that perhaps you've been holding on to for quite a while. With the Ten of Swords, there's an ending to this. Again, we're talking about endings, uh, death in itself with transmutation and regeneration of the growing and the and the knowing and the understanding it's almost like you're being able to see yourself from a different perspective and understand you know they keep coming in and out and i'm allowing them to do that so why am i allowing them to do that and you're going within yourself to try to figure out is this a pattern you've been doing in past relationships do you allow yourself to get hurt and I know nobody wants to get hurt and you would tell me Jessica you're ridiculous I cannot I know I would never actively put myself in a position where I would get hurt but unfortunately sometimes that is triggered to the core of our soul it's a, a something that we have to learn through this process through this earthly plane that a lot of the times we do actually subconsciously get ourselves in relationships where they're going to either bring out something that has been a pattern from past relationships and past um, connections that you ha you've had in the past. So again, like I said, even though they're swords, a lot of people kind of fear the swords. There is a good thing about this because this is all to do with the mind. So you're becoming aware. And that of the Ten of Swords, the ending, yes, for some of you guys, um, 
that are dealing with this type of fey weather type of energy they come and go there is an ending that's coming but this ending that's coming you're you're understanding it on a deeper level and you're able to release this person from you and release yourself from this person to be able to find or to be able to attract the person that is wanting that commitment or the person that can match yourself and your desires and your ethics and your character or your goals and desires in regards to relationships. So this is a very beautiful reading, Scorpios. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe. And we'll see each other soon. Bye.